extended idle is an optional engine mode available for police package XJs from 1993 to 2001. It is only available with the 4.0 equipped with an automatic transmission. Its purpose is to raise engine idle to about 1000 RPM when the transmission is in park or neutral. This has a handful of benefits if the vehicle will be stationary for extended periods of time. Extended idle has been around for a while. Semi-trucks actually use a similar process while stopped when they need a little extra output from the engine for all sorts of reasons. Running the engine faster consequently spins all the accessories faster, so the alternator will output more power, useful for running winches, jump-starting other cars, or keeping up with your killer sound system. The water pump and mechanical fan spin faster, pumping more coolant through the engine which keeps temperatures down when there's no natural airflow through the radiator. Raising idle also increases oil pressure, so keeping oil circulating through the engine will extend the 4.0's already impressive longevity. It can also be used on cold starts to help the engine warm up faster. These benefits of course come at the slight cost of burning more fuel, but it is a toggleable feature so you never have to use it if you don't want to. Of course, if you don't need the engine running, it's best to just shut it off while you wait. This is a very easy and beneficial modification to do, but unfortunately it isn't possible on any XJ1992 or earlier. It also can't be equipped with a manual transmission or any 2.5 liter engines. The circuit is fairly straightforward. If the ECU detects a ground signal on a certain pin, it will raise engine idle speed. On 1993 to 95 XJs, that's going to be a purple wire going to pin number 10. For 1996, a dark blue with an orange tracer going to pin A12. And for 9701 models, a gray wire going to pin A12. The circuit wasn't included on the factory wire harness, but you can splice into it if you've actually managed to track down a switch for it. The pigtail is identical to the fog lights, aside from an alignment tab you can just shave off with a razor blade. Otherwise, you can accomplish the same thing with a regular old switch. All you need to do is splice into the gray wire, run it to a switch somewhere, and connect the other end to a ground. If you want to keep your wiring clean, locate the transmission harness connector at the back of the engine bay. The gray wire from the ECU will connect to the bottom of this, so I simply spliced in a new pin and ran that wire to the dashboard toggle. From there, I spliced into the ground wire for the cigarette lighter. Some might argue to use a relay, and you totally can if you want, but it isn't necessary as this wire isn't really carrying any load, it's just a ground signal. So you don't have to put a fuse or a relay in it or anything. I've heard of people actually just grounding the gray wire permanently so the engine stays in extended idle mode all the time. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but it's your Jeep. Modify it how you please. Now that the video is over, I want to rant about this little thing here. So I found an extended idle switch, right? I wanted to put it in the Jeep to make everything look original. This is a 3D printed 4 switch bezel for the XJ. It's a good idea. It really is. I'm glad people are making stuff like this. Uh, or at least I would be if it was actually usable. Firstly, this thing is ugly. Uh, that doesn't really matter, honestly. But uh, for those of you who care about smooth finishes, this thing has little plastic threads hanging off of it. It's also very flimsy. So the switches pop in nicely, they fit. Uh, but it doesn't take much at all. To just pop them out. That's on top of the fact that the power outlet plugs are way too big for the XJ stock ones, so you'd have to buy and splice in aftermarket cigarette lighters, and that's a hefty amount of money just to have a little switch that says EXT idle. So I just went back to the three switch bezel and decided to mount the idle switch on this little cutout for foreign diesel models. Now that's what this is by the way if you were wondering. 